Hi, welcome back. Today I'm going to solve this exponential equation. So just having a quick look at this. All the numbers are perfect squares. And in fact, the square root of the top numbers are perfect squares in their own rights. So hopefully this is going to be relatively straightforward. Right, let's start by evaluating this square root on the left hand side. So we've got root 16, which is 4, and we've got root of 100, which is 10. So 4 over 10 to the power of x minus 1. This equals, well, the square root of 625 is 25, and the square root of 100 is 10. So I'm just going to rewrite this as 25 over 10 squared, and then that's all to the power of 6x minus 5. And for clarity, I'll put another set of brackets around here. Now the next thing I notice is this evaluates to 0.4 and this evaluates to 2.5 and those two numbers are the inverse of each other. So I'm going to try and get the bases to be the same. So to do that I'm going to take the 4 over 10 and I'm going to raise it to the power of negative 1. Raise it to the power of negative 1 again and then raise it to the power of my x minus 1. Now that all looks very complicated, but it's all this means is I'm going to invert this and then invert it again. So it has no overall effect. This then equals 25 over 10 to the power of 2. And I'm now going to bring this 6x minus 5 down. 6x minus 5. And that is per this rule that states if we have a number raised to a power, and that's all raised to another power, then we can rewrite this as that number raised to the powers multiplied together. Okay, over on the left hand side, I'm going to do a similar thing, but first I'm going to evaluate. 4 over 10 to the power of minus 1. And minus 1 simply means invert. So I'm going to rewrite this as 10 over 4. And this is all raised to the power of the second negative 1. And this is multiplied by x minus 1. Again, I've brought this down in accordance with this rule. And this still equals 25 over 10. And this is still to the power of 2 to the 6x minus 5. Now, since the bases are the same at 2.5, is all we need to do is set the powers equal to each other. So this simply becomes negative x plus 1, negative x plus 1, equals 12x minus 10. 12x minus 10. Rearranging, we get 12x plus x equals 10 plus 1. Therefore, 13x equals 11, and our answer is x equals 11 thirteenths. And that's it, we're done. Not too bad in the end, especially when it became obvious that this base was just an inverse of this base. Adding in these additional powers of negative 1 and negative 1 made this look somewhat complex but it all got evaluated quite easily. Okay, that's it. See you in the next one.